don't know how I like that song. I'm going to have to remember to add that to my list. Uh, <clears throat> Look how sunny it is. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Today is Saturday, August 10th, and we're on our way to the Weight Watcher meeting because I'm hoping I wore my shirt. Good vibes or good, good vibes. Yeah, good vibes. I wanted to stay the same. That's all I'm hoping for. Just stay the same for a small under 0.5 gain. Learned my lesson for the week. I'm not going to steer off. A uh, Joan at Jones pointed plate. I like it. I, oh my gosh, I did a terrible job on that window back there. Ooh, I'm just looking at how bad it is. Um, anyway, um, I cleaned my car yesterday and I washed my windows, but obviously I didn't do that back window very well because it's looking bad to fix it when I get gas. Um, anyway, Jones pointed plate when she does her menu for the week because she sent me a menu planner and I have been doing it like that other than when I went crazy with the popcorn and the cookies. But um, she saves extra room just in case something happens like a snack attack. And so um, I have to do that this week when I make my menu. I do do it every week, Joan. I make a menu. I don't stick to it 100%, but I do better when I'm following that because that that's my my plan to do better that's all you can do be the best you can be so um, Sharon Rogers wanted to know what Verner's was I thought I had said that at an earlier one Verner's is a ginger ale which I'm sure that when you're ill any ginger ale will work but as I like Canada dry but Canada dry is a, to me a sweet ginger ale and it tastes more like a pop. And I'll be honest, Verner's tastes like a medicine to me. But it's a medicine that really works. Look how sunny it is. Jeez, this could be a nice day. I didn't realize how sunny it was. It's not that warm. I mean, well, it's warm enough. It's 66, I think. Because we have a cold front coming through. But it's supposed to get warmer later on today and then over during the week, too. Um, Diane C. was asking about, she was saying that she's gone through Frankenmuth and Bronner's. Yes, Bronner's is still there. The uh, father has passed, the, the father and the mother that had originated the place. They've, they've died, but um, their children have took over. And the only day they're closed is Christmas Day. They're open all the rest of the year. And you should look it up online. Bronner's, B-R-O-N-N-E-R-S. And just look at it. It's just amazing. It's so big that when you park your car, you have to know if you parked at the north, east, south, or west entrance. Because it really does make a difference to, uh, if you go out the west entrance. Sorry about that. We got a phone call. Um, anyway, it does make a difference if you go through the east or the west uh, entrance because uh, it's a long way around if you, if you uh, get go out the wrong door. Here, so you guys can go past me. Um, Mara Sabardelli said that all of her kids had blankets. My kids uh, didn't have blankets, but they had favorite stuffed animals. Um, Jimmy had um, a little bear, the downy bear. It well at the time it wasn't the downy bear. Oh, they put a new. I'm, I'm sorry, got distracted. They put something up here. This must be a bad corner because they have a speed track lamp or camera there now um anyway uh, before tibby before the uh, downy bear came out jimmy had a bear that looked exactly like it he called tibby i don't know where he came up with the name tibby and one day he had forgotten tibby in the car and jim had gone to work and he was just so upset and i said oh he'll be fine he'll be fine well jim got rear-ended that day and the car got demolished and tibby got decapitated we played hell trying to find another bear that looked just like that. And then we found another bear. No. Jimmy knew. You just know. It's got a smell. It's got a touch. It's got a feel. So, um, Bertie actually sold the dog, the, the head back on. And we had this, like, ratty-looking bear that he had forever. And Danny had a, a dog. Stuffed dog. It was really big. It was as big as him. And he called it Dugan. And he carried that around forever. And uh, Christy had a little doll, which she still has. Um, it was a cloth doll with a plastic face. It was like, it was hideous. Somebody had given it to her as a shower gift, a baby shower gift. And I had just put it in her crib, and somehow she got attached to it, and she just loved it. Oh, I got something on my lip. Anyway, 
Yeah, Rachel from Active Rachel Ann had a little thing on her lip that I was concerned about, and I told her about it because I had one once right where this is bleeding right now. And I did a biopsy on it, and it came back benign. Now, I told you I'm so easily distracted. I'm so sorry. Jim had a... Uh, a little reindeer that was his uh, that his mother gave him that when he was like when Jimmy was born so Jim would have been 22 at the time no 21 Jim would have been 21 no Jim would have been 22 Jim was 22 and uh, we had it for the longest time and then when we moved we lost it we never told his mother because we figured she kept it for 22 years and then we lost it within a year <laughs> so it was like but and um, Kim Bedford wanted to know how old Sophia was. Sophia's nine. And Peggy over at Color Me Influence was wondering about my children and grandchildren because she gets confused. It's very easy to do. My oldest son is Jimmy. His better half is Samantha. And Samantha has two daughters, um, Jamie and Je Jesse. And Jimmy has two children by his first wife, Cindy, who I talk about a lot too. Not talk about, you know, you know what I mean. Um, and David is 18 and Alyssa is 12. I'm gonna have Alyssa tonight, so I'll put her on the video towards the end so you'll see her. Then my next child is Danny and he married Shannon and they have two boys, Sebastian, who's eight, and Oliver, who's seven. And then my daughter, Christy, married Aaron. And they have Sophia, who's nine. Denise is my sister. And she has two kids, Josh, who's 17, and Kylie, who's 15. And then my sister Mary and her husband Don. Mary's not married. My sister Sue has passed and she had two children, Ricky and Kathleen. Kathleen goes up to the cottage with us. Um, Michael is my brother. He's married to Molly. And they have a son, Mike. And he's married to Lauren. And they have a son called JR, which is John Robert, but they call him JR. And my brother Pat, who passed, was married to my sister-in-law, Diane, but they got divorced. And she has three children, Holly. PJ and Steve. So that's pretty much my family in a nutshell. Sorry, I had to get distracted about that. So, um, but we're at the meeting. Let's say, let's hope, let's hope, 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 hope. Stay the same. Okay, talk to you in a bit. Well, my lucky shirt worked. I stayed the same. To me, that's as good as a loss, let me tell you. So I still weigh 235.6, and my total loss is 68.6. So I am so happy. I put a little turtle on there. Put a little smiley face because I was happy. And I put, your only limit is you, which is true. The only thing that's holding me back is me. <laughs> so um, I'm very happy that I uh, stayed the same. And so now I'm going to go to Kroger's. And um, they have um, Hillshire Farms uh, lunch meats on sale. They're usually $3.99 a package and they're $1.99. So I'm going to pick up some turkey, oven roasted turkey. I'm going to put them in my freezer so I'll have them. And then I need to get some bananas and uh, a gallon of milk. That's all I got to get while I'm there. So um, we're going to get on with our day and see where we go from here. I'm going to stay on track. I'm going to do my menu plan later on today. And um, I know I'm distracted here. I got that stuff away. And um, just stay on track. Uh, Susie Louder, I think it was. I wrote your name down. I just want to make sure. Yeah, Susie Louder wanted to know about... Uh, my hummingbird. I do make my own feed. It's it's cheaper, I think, in the long run. And I, it's um, I use two cups of sugar with four and a half cups of boiling water. Um, I let it um, you know dissolve and cool off, and then I put it in my feeders. And then I have the uh, I have an old um, <clears throat> simply lemonade container that I put the extra feeder in. I keep it in the refrigerator in the garage and I have it marked hummingbird feeder so I don't drink like pure sugar water. But uh, that lasts me for my, my birds are really eating a lot lately so I think they're bulking up to go back because usually I could fill it up and it would last three days. Um, now it's really like a day and a half. I'm, I'm seeing a lot more birds 
which brings my heart joy. It really does. So, um, okay, let's let's get a crack a lack and get back on track. Um, have a good day. So, um, I'll take you with me today. Stay with me. Okay, here's my breakfast. I have a cup of tea, some water, and my usual fruit platter. I start my day with a prayer. I drink 50 ounces of water. My quote is, we all know how to lose weight. It's a matter of consistently inspiring ourselves to do it. 23 smart points, zero for my berries, banana, tea, and water. Three points for half of a lender's plain bagel. Three points for four slices of center cut bacon. And one point for a laughing cow cheese. So I still have 16 points left for my lunch and dinner. Well, I'm getting a little better wrapping them. I'm going to have some refried beans and tacos and a burrito. 16 points. Three for the burrito, three for the two shells, three for the half a cup of refried beans, four points for the cheese, three points for two tablespoons of sour cream, zero for the tomatoes, water, and... Who's this Alyssa girl that you're always talking about? Oh, I'm Joe Yeah. Okay. What are you doing? I'm just playing Roblox. Well, Sophia plays it all the time, too. Yeah, I'm, like, playing a game with my best friend, and, um, yeah. Look at all the... Healthy food they brought. Yes, we're so healthy. <laughs> What's your friend's name again? Mackenzie. Mackenzie. I'll be your disco girl. Wait, oh. don't knock into me. I'm right here. Stop, stop. Okay, that's going to do it for tonight. I'm actually in the laundry room now. Isn't it? There goes the kitchen. <laughs> um, the girls are playing Roblox. They're sitting right next to each other playing the same game, talking to each other through the game. No communication skills. Anyway, um, I'm going to go to church tomorrow. I do have a birthday song to sing tomorrow, so I'll be singing tomorrow. And uh, staying on track, trying to make it through the weekend. Want to be good. So give this video a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and share.